Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Ozone Skyblock Reborn server. And uh, yeah, I did some immersive engineering the, the last time around, did a little uh, updates here. I put a chest at the bottom, got that floating solignolius to stop my magnet from picking up stuff. And then up above, I've got an open crate from Batania with a hopper and a chest so I can dump stuff into there and it slowly feeds it in so that the, the crusher can crush. And that works out really, really nicely. Also, you can see I've got a little bit of uh, aluminum scaffolding in the, the corner because chatting with guys and, and going, yeah, I, I really like aluminum scaffolding mainly because I don't do hardly anything with aluminum, but it also looks really more industrial up here. So this used to be this this fancy chiseled uh, quartz that I found, and I decided, no, nah, let's just do the aluminum scaffolding, and I like how it looks. Other stuff. Uh, I moved over my coke oven over here. I upgraded my blast furnace to the improved blast furnace with these uh, preheaters. And I built it the the Wang Rei Wound, in, in that I came over here and hit it with the hammer. This is where the slag comes out, and here's where the the actual finished steel comes out. Not that I'll probably be using this much at all, because I can get it through the mystical agriculture stuff anyway, <laughs> because it works really nice. Uh, let's get a little bit of oak, not agile oak. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's grab. That's three pieces. Why not? I did want to make this, uh, the sawmill. I've not made this before anywhere because uh, I've got a, a, a single sawmill for mechanism and quite often I, I go to mechanism as my go-to for, for tech stuff. But I decided to try this. Now, the hopper feeding in sideway works. I tried putting it from the top and that didn't work. So uh, we'll go go sideways. We'll dump all three of them in there. You can see it, I like how it goes down. That strips the logs that turned them into planks and away they go. And uh, there's there's my, you know, six for each of those those logs, which is great. And this is where sawdust spits out. And there's some stuff you can do with sawdust. And I went into here and I turned down the, the sounds. <laughs> all of these are too loud. I just don't really want to hear them. And my my uh, plate maker. Oh, I like that that press. That is such a fantastic thing to do. Uh, other things that I done did. Oh, here, let's uh, dump this into here and then I'll fail to get through uh, the door. Let's do the door again. I did uh, add a, another island over here just for, for fun as I, I kind of like having these multiple islands. And because I liked it so much in the nether, I decided to sit there and, and do that kind of upside down uh, warped area with some upright trees in here too. So, so just having fun building islands because, you know, if the question is, should I buy build islands? The answer is yes and lots <laughs> because that's what i like to do uh all right so i've uh, been really liking how the 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 base here has been growing it's still mostly flat there's a couple other places that are are you know going down this is just looks but i i kind of like that all right there there's something that i've been wanting to do for a while and i've not had it and uh oh let's see what else did uh oh i made a windmill tart it out of the way there. I uh, added a windmill up there. It's not, it's generating power, but I'm not pulling it anywhere. But it's there. And I, I kind of like the, the look of that. So that's why I put, I put it originally on the other side. And you could barely see it. And I said, no, nope, no, nope, let's put it on this side. It's ornamental only. <laughs> so uh, I went ahead. Let's see. This is the, uh, the, the, the blast furnace preheaters to the side. That's not what I'm looking for. Windmill, I uh, did this. I went ahead and made some windmill sails. Uh, these fabrics come from the industrial hemp. I've got lots of that. Uh, hooked it up to the in, the kinetic dynamo. So that's actually would pull out power if, if I did. Uh, the sawmill confused me for a while because it was stripping the logs and doing nothing else. I needed to make this saw blade and add that to the sawmill. And then things started working the way I wanted. But that's not what I wanted to do. I want to get into the hostile neural networks to be able to get mob resources without actually messing with mobs. So uh, stuff that I need to do. If I go look at the questies, uh, first thing I need to do is make this. Uh, actually, I kind of, that, that's a that's a good segue here. Kill you. And where's the other one? There's one here and kill you. Anymore, anymore, anymore. Phantoms are annoying. 
<laughs> they really are annoying. I don't like them. They they knock me over the edge. Um, it, it prevents me from AFK in the way I would like. Uh, so I really want to get some information from the Phantoms to stop that. All right. So uh, what I need to, to do here is make this uh, Dooley Whacker. Uh, anything in here? There is. Uh, I'm going to grab this nether star and drop that into here in the center. And that's going to start crafting something. Likewise, if I come over here and grab another star, and this has got gold, and that's going to start crafting something. Yeah, how close are you to done? Yeah, you're really slow. How are you? Oh, you're, you're much faster. Okay, we'll put that there. Let's grab these guys. Redstone ingots. Those are just the iron and redstone, so those are pretty cheap. And this is so much faster, I guess because I've got the pretty decent amount of power underneath. That's, that's why this is going so much faster. Anyway, I need to craft this. The enhanced redstone ingot. There we go. If you look at the uses for it, uh, looks like I can use it as... as a lot of different things. Um, interesting. Um, however, wow. Uh, yeah, that, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Nor that. Yeah, this the um, the deep learner is the first thing I, I need to to do. In fact, I think there's my deep learner stuff right there. All right. Let's grab all this. Pull you out. And can I shift click you in? Yes. Cool. Okay. So that'll start running there. Let's dump you in place. And I'm going to put you there. I need to run this through because I need a different type of ender star. If I hit the U on this and ender crafting, enhanced ender ingots. All right. That's what that's generating for me. Kind of like the, the enhanced redstone ingots. Same thing ex except different. So the first thing I need to do is make this deep learner. So it gives me a HUD when held and models are within. And, and looking over here, there's a whole bunch of models that... Uh, okay, gonna grape just a little bit. Mimic is green, Bat is brown, Blaze is yellow. The title of the name is different, but Cow is hard to read. It's a, a, a dark gray. Enderman is worse. I, I can I, I I have to get really close to my monitor to be able to see the difference between the background and the Enderman. Uh, yeah, it's cute having different colors for these things. Yeah, Raven is another one that's really hard. Don't <laughs> that's just dumb. Uh, just just go with regular. You know, maybe if you had a slightly different color, like you know, then you could see this is the name and that's the data model, and and so you could keep track of them easily. Rant, 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 rant. Okay, UI stuff. Uh, Deep Learner that gave me this. Uh, if I right click this bad boy, does it do anything for me? Ah, no data models. All right, so what I need to do in order to train the model, you must deliver the killing blow. So don't use mob farts. All right, so the next thing I need to do, I'm going to grab this. Let's start that processing because this only has four or eight of the alternators to, to power this. And so it, it, it can be a little slow. That's okay. Uh, if I come in here, hit data model. Yeah, this doesn't need an actual ender crafting uh, stuff. But if I come out here, let's right click this guy, right click on an entity. That's what I want. Hey, phantoms. <laughs> uh, now I want phantoms to come and, and get me. And of course, it's the wrong time. Well, maybe they'll they'll show up. We'll see. All right. So the idea, and, and here's where I haven't done this in a long time, and I'm going just off of the order in which it has in here. So as I understand, you need to make the deep learner. You make a model framework. You right-click on whatever mob it is you want to gain data for. And then eventually you will make yourself a model of data. So let's go here. Phantoms. Oh, why is P A? Oh, alpha has that. Uh, so the phantom data model, uh, what I will want to do is, is I will get data per kill and a data collected zero six. And there's different tiers of that because once you use this thing, take off the U, 
hit you here. You can use this in a simulation chamber, which is one of the other things that I'll get. Uh, once you have the, the, the model programmed and there's different tiers, there's a chance of getting predictions out, the chance of getting generalized overworld stuff that you can use. And then once you have this stuff, yeah, you can toss it into the loop fabricator and get other things. And one of the things I really, really want, and I don't know if I'm going to get it, uh, Phantom, I really want some of these ch charm fragments. And looks like I have to kill them manually. I thought I had a spell on here that would increase the chance of getting those. I am missing it. I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing it. Mystical Enlightenment gives me the the Awakened Dust stuff, which is nice and all that. But uh, I, I, I have one of these Phantom Charms and I need to have six of them because when I have six string and leather, I'll make my Phantom Charm. I'll add that to my belt and boom, I no longer have to worry about the Phantom. They'll appear, they'll circle around above, but I'll be invisible and they can't do anything to me. So I was expecting the phantoms to come up <laughs> by now, and they obviously aren't. Well, that's a chomp in the shorts. Uh, that uh, Looking at the other mobs, I'm not sure which ones I would want, although probably I, I, I need to process several. Uh, looking at the quests, it wants the generalized overall prediction. And then you can use that to craft up some of the nether prediction, and then you can craft up some net ender pr predictions. And you can use those for, for stuff. But for right now, I, I really want the phantoms to stop. But I need them to start so that I can stop them. <laughs> uh, darn it. Where's my phantoms when I need them? Here they come. And I'm ready for them now. There's one, two, there's, wow, uh, that counted as two. Oh, did I miss one? Yes, I did. There we go. There they go. All right. Uh, what I had to do is once I right clicked on them, I needed to add them to my deep learner and let's go right click. So it looks like it have four of these at the same time as I kill them around. Uh, anyway, the, um, that I uh, right click. Nope. I will put back in this way. So now it's, it's holding it. It tells me which models I'm trying to get. I also got here the Severine 5. That was the one I was looking for was Severine. And it tells me that it significantly increases the chance of Reliquy drops. I, I think those are disabled in the pack, except for through the, the, the learning here. Uh, that would be like the, the creeper hearts and things like that. Now, I'm hoping the charm fragments will will come faster with that. That would be super nice. Um, but um, I, I what I did is I took my netherite sword that had no enchants on it. I enchanted it once. There was nothing. I enchanted it a second time and it had severing two. There you go. Haha. -ha. So now I've got a basic model here. Oh, I should stop going. You can see it in the corner. I've got a basic model uh, and 12 more kills and I will get it upgraded to the next step. And I you want to go all the way to the top, which I think is awakened uh, where you can process the stuff and you get more data. Or, you know, the, the data is more refined, so you get more out of it, which it which is good anyway so that's i i'm just going to kind of wait over the night and uh kill me as many of these phantoms as i can and so far i'm just getting the phantom membranes oh i should put my my uh sword away but i'll do that later now i just need more phantoms it's been pretty slow going i i i'm not getting lots of the the phantoms and and i also realized that the phantoms aren't really going to get me what i want uh let me find the phantom all right let me just uh do it here so there's the phantom model that i've got and if i hit you on this I run it through the simulation chamber and I'll get a certain percentage of, of getting a prediction based off of what tier it's at. I, right now I'm at basic, which means a 5% chance of getting it. That's, that's nothing. Uh, on the other hand, I've got self-aware model for enders or endermen. 
So um, self-aware is 99.5% chance of getting it. But there's a lot more killing. Uh, the last tier from like, um, okay, basic, that's six or six to get to there. another 12 superior. Superior to self-aware was 50, <laughs> which in the end was easy to do. Doing that with the phantoms is going to take forever. And if I look at the use of this, if I run it through the loop fabricator, I get membranes. So I'm not going to get the, the charm fragments that I want. Now, if we take a look at the Enderman one, click in the right spot, Enderman. Uh, if we look at this one, hit U for this, and if I generate this, yes, Ender Pearl uh, Ender, and Crystals, which, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take those, and Nebulous Hearts. That's what I need to sit there and, and start crafting some of the other bits. Uh, if we go through here, da, 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 here we go. I can make the Enderman Charm Fragment with seven of them, and I need six of these fragments, but with enough hearts, I can make a charm. So even if I'm staring at the Enderman, they don't um, get mad at me, and, and, and which would be nice because I'm I'm a f I, I never like being able to you know run through the end and they're they're staring at or I'm staring at them and they come chasing after me. Flight helps, but it's just annoying. All right, so um, I, instead, what I decided to do, I got a mob swab, uh, and it's got, you can see it says phantom DNA in it, because I just right-clicked on a mob, uh, one, in this case a phantom, a little bit of XP and a seed, and this gives me GM chicken feed, and it has the uh, the phantom DNA in that that seed. So let's go ahead and drop us down a chicken. Would you like some food? It's only slightly genetically modified. Oh, that's cool. Fine, have some. And so this gives me the phantom spawn egg. Okay, so with that, uh, let's come over to here. I'm going to make the entity spawner from Mob Utility Grinders. And uh, so I've got that, and I will need uh, a spawn egg. I will need a lever to turn it on, and I will need some jelly baby to, to make that work. Uh, let's get rid of the feathers. Don't need them. Let's go with stars. There we go. I'm going to turn off the fans because I don't need them for right now. I'm going to put the uh, the spawner in here. Flight is so nice. It allows me to zip around really quick. All right. And there. Turn that off. And I'm just going to break these two. There we go. Oh, you can go away. Let's put you down. So here, I'm going to take this, plop that there, hit it with the uh, jelly babies, hit it with the phantom egg, and let's show area and... Yeah, I'd rather have it... I, I don't know if it needs grass. There's, there's different requirements, and I'm hoping it doesn't care about the light. We'll find out. Let's put a lever on you. Right click. It, that that kind of looks like it's gonna work. <laughs> uh, so at, at this point now, I can just kill these guys because they're spawning right here, and I don't have to go chasing after them. And I'm hoping that you know the small chance of getting a uh, fragment from them, a charm fragment, will will help. Up oh, there's one. Okay, so I've got two of those fragments now. I only need four more. Aha, there we go. Um, lightning and thunder, and I've got three of the charm fragments. And you may ask, why did you move over to here? Because <laughs> I've got this three by three area. I had it over here, and a lot of it was being picked up by my mob catcher stuff, which was not a bad, but I didn't know how many I, I had caught at that point. Let's grab these. Uh, let's zip over to here. And uh, Phantom. You can see I've got three others in the, the, the system here. Let's dump these in. They'll go into the mob farm where I have that. So I've got six of these. If I U on this, I want this up here. There's my phantom charm, uh, which is really why I was getting the, the superior model or the model data, and it doesn't work. <laughs> That's not going to produce for me at all, which is okay. I want to go that. There we go. Charm belt. Right click on the charm belt. 
toss that in there. You can see I killed a baby Enderman. I didn't mean to, but I did. And, and you can't repair this. So it, now that I, I've got phantoms in here, I'm going to leave them alone. However, there is one thing that's really cool. Uh, let's go. Uh, am I going to complete the other 19? Yes, I am. Uh, however, one of the things that I am going to do uh, this right here, I'm going to take because you can see where this is. And this is still the, the, the dreadful dirt up here. I'm going to take that and uh, let's put the spawner here and I'm going to have it go up. Oh, we can only do one. OK, I need to uh, add an additional. Uh, do I have more distance? I think I still do. Let's take a quick look. Oh, hey, oh, that's the absorption radius one. All right. Mob grinder uh, entity spawn width upgrade height upgrade. Um, I'm this may not work as is. I think what I have to do is go back down to here. If I take this and break that and then break that and then put the spawner there and I'm going to put the uh, lever uh, underneath and the show area and have it go up one. So now if I go up, yeah, so I think that will work and light wise, I don't know if that's bleeding through there kind of looks like it is well no there's a 10 over here oh because of this light i think that's going to be dark uh lights are still coming over here oops are you getting through you got through you little booger bye bye <laughs> uh oh ah, that's because i have all the um the stuff off the fans all right let's go boink a doink Okay, you get blown away, and you get blown away, and you get blown away. Uh, all right, so they will... I uh, need the sides. Uh, so the thing I was thinking is if if it doesn't provide much light, which I, I'm thinking it, it, it might, uh, you are just annoying. Let's snag you. Come here. Come here. How about you take a trip? All right, and then these needs to be turned on over here. All right, so now they will, uh, yep, they're all gone. Okay, so I can spawn stuff here, and because there's nothing physically in place, like if I put the the spawner on the, the, the ground, this fan wouldn't blow past it anymore, because anything that's physical there stops it. But I think that would actually work. In fact, uh, let's give it a quick go. Uh, did I put the, uh, let's put the phantoms in there. Let's turn that on and let's see if this will work. Let's turn off the lights. So they should hopefully, yep. And they get pushed right into there. So as far as getting the, the data model, this will give me nothing whatsoever, but I can spawn things here and have them get shoved into the grinder and that should hopefully allow me to get there it is uh that should hopefully allow me to get the you know the these charm fragments uh from that easier i'm thinking that's kind of a good idea let's put you back uh let's get rid of that uh the Dreadful dirt. I really don't have a good place to put that, but we'll put that there for right now. Cool. So uh, I do want to turn that area off. I do want to keep this area on so I can just remember that, oh yeah, there's there's something there. And I do think light wise, there's going to be some stuff bleeding through. But uh, if we look at the light, yeah, there there's light coming from there from from beneath. Uh, that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not really dying for lack of spawn spots here. Uh, if it's below seven, I think it'll spawn or below six, I think. Yeah, because I've got some sevens here. I've got a six. If it's below six, uh, the item, the, the mobs can spawn on this dirt. So that, that may work. All right. Now I need to figure out, oh, wrong thing. I'm figuring out what I want. I, I definitely want to, oh, I've got the Enderman bits. Uh, let's take that out. 
scroll down, grab this guy. Because the Enderman got uh, completely done. Cool. Uh, then let's zip over to here to the storage room area. Uh, right, right clicking to travel and then right clicking to open things is not a good idea. Uh, I've got that. I need to make these, this chamber and I've got all the bit. Oh no, I don't want to shift click them because they go back into my system, but I can grab it like this. All right. And so glad. Oh, okay. So let's drop this into here. And let that get crafted. And what's the next thing? A loot fabricator. That's the next thing. Oh, and that's why I needed the enhanced ingots. So I think I've got all the bits for the loot fabricator. I do. Let's grab you to the hop. And I, I didn't realize that till today. I went, oh, hey, I've got the, uh, the hop stuff. So that certainly works. Are you done? So slow, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, so I think, oh, I need to make some predictions. This, the prediction matrix. And, oh, I've got enough for that. Uh, let, let's do two sets. That's, that's enough. Uh, let's look at the questies. Yeah, I need to make these. I need to make these guys to, for, for the quests. And this is almost done. This is the part where you're done. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's do the loot fabricator while we're waiting. Uh, I, I bet you this needs power. It's been a while since I've played with it. So well, let's just drop it down. Yes, it needs power. So I'm going to break you. Yay, it breaks. Uh, let's put you here. Can I? There we go. Uh, please insert a data model. Doink. Uh, missing input. Okay. So it needs a prediction matrix. Let's take one and shift click it in and there it goes running along and this should generate a few bits for me. It should make, uh, an, I think this will make the end piece and yeah, generalized ender prediction. Cool. And then it's also made me a Enderman prediction, which I can't read because it's too freaking dark. Uh, let's take one, two, three, four. Um, let's do three of them. I said three of them and feed those in there. Cool. Uh, I should get a prediction each time. This, I'm not sure if it's 100%. Uh, this is the Enderman. Uh, it looks like it, I'm going to get it 99% of the time too. So cool. All right. Uh, I want four of these. These I, I don't care as much. Well, yes, I do because I need to process these you and uh, then I can get these nebulous hearts and I don't know if I can choose. Let's find out. All right. Let's come over to here and put you in place and plop you right there. So there's the loot fabricator. If I drop you in, I can choose. Oh, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So now I'm going to generate, I'm going to have to generate uh, more of these. I need seven times six and I get two of them at a time. So that's seven times three. That's 20. okay. So I need more of these. I've done uh, three, four. I'm just going to go ahead and dump a bunch of them in the I'll dump all of them in there for now and I'll just let it generate for me. All right, if I have mapped this correctly, which is a big if, I only need 42 of these hearts. And if that's the case, let's uh, uses on these. Let's go backwards. There's a ton of fun things with Reliquary that I, 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 I would love to dig deeper into it, but eh, for right now, there's too many other things I'm having fun with. Uh, let's Toss that in here. I need one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ha! Exactly right. <laughs> if we, uh, it's always nice when you know the the math works out evenly like that. So there's an Enderman charm. So now the the stupid Enderman, if I'm wandering around through the the end and I look at them, they get mad and they chase me. Not a problem anymore, which is very nice. So I've got the Ender prediction stuff. And, and you can do things with this. You can make resources with that. Uh, I need to make both a nether as well as a overworld for the, the quest. 
And if I can take a quick look, yeah, see, there's the Overworld one, there's the Nether one, and there's the Ender one. And you can craft these. So if we look at this and hit uh, R, R, uh, Endstone plus Nether will allow you to make these, you know, at a four to one cost. Ouch. Uh, likewise, if you, you've got the Overworld one with Nether Rack at a four to one, you can make the, the Nether. And with the Nether stuff, you can make various things. Ooh, you can make blaze rods with that. That's pretty cool when, you know, if you don't have access to the nether, that's another way of getting all sorts of really good stuff. Oh, very nice. Uh, go back to here and you on this. There's a good bunch of overworld things. Ooh, cobwebs. That's handy way of making cobwebs. So yeah, a, a ton of good resources that if, if you can get this done early, you don't have to do much exploring to get other stuff. That's very handy to get the, the uh, Prismarine Shards. If you know, In an overworld that's a void like this one, that's a way of getting access to some of these harder to get resources. Now, we can sift for them, but if you, you couldn't sift for them, this would be a way of getting the, the Prismarine Shards. And then I believe you can crush them and you can make them into, uh, not that one, the other type of shards. There's... There's another way of turning these into the crystals are we do that. Sag mill. That's one way of uh, crushing them into here. M Macerator is another. Oh, that's really the way to go. Oh, well, but you got to have the sea lantern first. Damn right. Uh, oh, yeah. Mana infusion. So multiple ways of, of getting to some of these because there's no oceaners around. You can't raid a, a water ocean temple like that. You got to make it elsewhere. And the neural nets is a way to do that. Let's put the belt back on. Ta-da! I've got it hidden so you can't see the, the, the belt. But there you go. A, a way of accessing uh, mob resources. Yeah, I'll have to, you know, hunt them down and kill them. Like, that's going to be hard. This does, you know, like 50 hit points of damage. So, and it dead, dead, dead. One hit. It was great. Uh, so that's fantastic. But I need to figure out what exactly I need. Uh, another thing and an ender uh, and an overworld thing. I'm not sure what to get. Probably a ghast for for the nether as well as a eh, creeper or something. Zombie, some, something. I can pull that from my mob farm. And and if I, since I don't have the charm fragments for them, I'll just do the DNA method and make some more GM uh, chicken feed. <laughs> feed those chickens. <laughs> That's always fun watching them blow up. Anyway, this has been Garak the Duck Farmer here, playing on the Ozone Skyblock Reborn server, and messing around with the uh, Hostile Neural Networks, or whatever that mod is. Let's check. Hostile Neural Networks. Hey, I remembered. Hey, that, that's amazing. Uh, and, and it's fun. It's a fun way of both killing and not killing the, the mobs to get the resources. And I like that. And thanks for watching.